coming out. I can't see anything in here. Oh, that's mine. Do you have my flashlight, Patrick? I might. I might. Yes. Somebody took it. Oh, there you go. See, we'll watch them crawl out. Two of them on the floor over there. Yeah, they're going in on that left side, too. Mm -hmm. Yep. I mean, if it makes you feel more comfortable, but it's gonna it's gonna agitate them. Um, actually, what you probably want to do is we want to keep the ones from coming in, from continuing to come in. No, I'm talking about right underneath that two by four right there. Hit that with uh, some dust underneath the two by four, um, because they're gonna continue to come in. Right. Or what about waspex? You can do waspex too. Yeah, because you're going to I mean, I'd feel more comfortable. I'd feel more comfortable. Well, I'd feel more comfortable with, uh, you know, if we could get some dust underneath there. But, you know, to get these knocked down immediately in here. See, I mean, they're just crawling in and out yeah. over there. I'm thinking of the air, getting that air, that tempo dust airborne in here too and then breathing it. I'd be more concerned about the PI, to be honest with you. I'd be more concerned about breathing in the PI, okay. just because of the propellants and everything. Okay. Well, how would you want to approach it? Well, um, I'm up for the waspex. I'm fine with that. Okay. Uh, to not to get these, but no matter what we do, the first thing we apply, it's going to agitate the hell out of them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. well, that's why I say so, we create a fog in here as they <laughs> emerge from the nest. Yeah, but we're, we're going to be dropping a lot of them, at least to lessen yeah, the threat. But how, but how but when, how long are you going to? Wait till for it to dissipate. Oh, I was thinking just dust, just you know, d gonna, just shoot right underneath there. They're gonna surge quickly. If that nest is as big as what we're suspecting there, it's gonna be a lot of them coming out. Look at that guy carrying that, carrying the other one. Yeah, I see that. It's just the PI drops in so much quicker than anything else. I mean, if that nest is truly through that whole can I, case, can I get your lamp? I don't think it's through the whole case. I think it's just at the bottom. It looks like materials at the top of that opening there, though. Uh, they're coming out completely at the bottom. Um, just, is that not material right there? I don't know if it is or not. It might be. That's a big mess. Yeah. It's going from the floor up. And you look yeah, because you, you can actually see them dropping down over here yeah. on this side. Um... You know what? I'm not. I'm. I'm not keen about your plan, but I'll, I'll, I'll. We can do it. Okay. It's your call. You're the man on the scene here. Um. I'm just thinking of a matter of. I would like. What I would like. What I would like. Well, no matter what we do, there's going to be danger here. Right. Yeah. Um. Actually, I really, I really want to kick that case right now. <laughs> you do, and I'm ready. I'm not going to be in here with you. Um. Well, what I would like to do at uh, first is get dust there okay okay so if we can get your uh get the dust stick okay okay then what uh, um uh, right after he does that you've got uh, a fogging tip it won't get you I just got stung. he just got mm -hmm. stung if you got a fogging tip no you don't have a fogging tip does he is he all right did you get on your hand yeah <laughs> What are you talking about? A fogging tip for an aerosol can? Mm -hmm. I've got a straw in there. No, there's actually a fogging tip. Like it's a, it's an actual actuator. I've never seen it. They, they come with they come with them, with the five sixty five. Oh. Uh, <clears throat> he should have one. Well, if he comes with it, then they'd be on the can when you open it up. Correct. <clears throat> I, I would check to see if he's got one. Okay. 